I actually work for Anheuser Busch, or I did. I quit a few days ago. I'm still wearing my Bud Light shirt though. But if you really want to get back a Bud Light, don't be throwing your beers away. Don't be crushing them. Send them to their logistics office and send it. In. This one's for all the men out there who work all day, come home, and just want to drink a cold beer. I haven't drank a beer in five years. I'll never drink Anheuser-Busch again in my life. So cheers to all the beers out there. God, that's good. <laughs> This morning, backlash brewing against Bud Light over its product placement deal with TikTok star Dylan Mulvaney, a transgender actress. I got some Bud Lights for us. Her post on Instagram last week, showing her surrounded by cans of beer, connected her transgender status to what has historically been a male-dominated brand. This month, I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood, and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. The hashtag Go Woke, Go Broke has been trending online, with some customers turning against the beer, including musician Kid Rock. Bud Light and Anheuser-Busch. Have a terrific day. Bud Light and its parent company, Anheuser-Busch InBev, have apparently been silent on social media. Not a single tweet from either since the day of Mulvaney's Instagram video. But the company did release a statement after false claims were made about the Bud Light marketing team being fired, saying, from time to time, we produce unique commemorative cans for fans and for brand influencers like Dylan Mulvaney. This commemorative can was a gift to celebrate a personal milestone and is not for sale to the general public. Bud Light had been kind of a brand of fratty, kind of out of touch humor. Bud Light's vice president of marketing recently appeared on the Apple podcast, Make Yourself at Home. This brand is in decline. It's been in decline for a really long time. And if we do not attract young drinkers to come and drink this brand, there will be no future for Bud Light. What does evolve and elevate mean? It means inclusivity. It means shifting the tone. Bud Light's marketing chief went on to emphasize the need to appeal to both men and women. Observers have noted the lack of social media posts from the brand during major sporting events.